Hi, boys and girls. Welcome once again to Praise and Worship. I'm so glad you're taking some time to be with me today. Today, I want to tell you about a man named Saul. Actually, his name was later changed to Paul. Saul became Paul. Pretty cool, huh? But really what we want to talk about is the day that Saul came to see the light. We're going to talk about that in a little while, the day when Saul came to see the light. But for now, oh, there's our light shining. For now, let's begin as we always do. Can you say these opening words with me? In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. And then let's begin by confessing or admitting our sins to God. So once again, would you please repeat after me? Dear Jesus, please forgive me all my sins. Amen. And what does God do about our sins? He forgives them. That's right. Can you say that? He forgives. He forgives them. That means that he like takes them away from us. He doesn't even know, it's as if he doesn't even remember that we've sinned. Because Jesus died on the cross to pay for our sins, God takes all of our sins away. It's as if we never did them. Oh, that's, uh, that's great, and we thank God for that. Always remember, boys and girls, that even when you do bad things, you sin, God forgives them. All right, well, that's a, a great thing. It gives us joy, so let's sing about the joy that we have down in our hearts. I've got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Right down in my heart. Right down in my heart. I've got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Right down in my heart to stay. And I'm so happy, so very happy. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart. Down in my heart. And I'm so happy, so very happy. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart. I've got the peace of passes on the standing down in my heart. Down in my heart. Down in my heart. I've got the peace of passes on the standing down in my heart. Down in my heart. What to say? And I'm so happy, so very happy. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart. Down in my heart. And I'm so happy, so very happy. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart. I've got the wonderful love of us every day way down in the depths of my heart. Right down in the depths of my heart. Right down in the depths of my heart. I've got the wonderful love of us every day way down in the depths of my heart. Right down in the depths of my heart to stay. And I'm so happy, so very happy. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart. And I'm so happy, so very happy. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart. All right. Yes, we are so happy because God has forgiven us our sins. All right, we have been talking about all some, some of the different stories that happened after Jesus rose from the dead and, and after he ascended or went back to heaven, right? So we started with our first story of Pentecost, we call it. That's when the Holy Spirit came and helped the disciples to teach about Jesus in many different languages. And then we heard the story about when Peter and John healed a man who couldn't walk at all. And uh, you see in that picture, then he was able to walk and jump and leap. And he was praising God because he could do those things. And then last week, you remember, we heard a story about when the some of the disciples or apostles got thrown in jail because uh, some of the leaders didn't like the fact that they were talking about Jesus. They didn't like Jesus, and they threw them in jail. But an angel came and got them out of jail and told them, hey, you guys, you keep telling the good news about Jesus, because that's that important. Well, today, our next story, the story that we're going to hear is about, like I told you, a man named Saul who came to see the light. And we'll talk about that in a little while. But watch this video and uh, listen to the story of Saul. The Miracle of Mercy, Paul. This 
This is Saul. Saul was a Pharisee who hated the followers of Jesus so much that he would hunt them down to be brought to trial in Jerusalem. And he would even seek to murder them. Saul was uttering threats with every breath, and he was eager to kill the Lord's followers. So he went to the high priest. He asked him to write a letter to the Jews in Damascus that would allow him to arrest any Christians he found there. He wanted to bring them, both men and women, back to Jerusalem in chains. Now Saul went on his way. And as he came near Damascus, a light from heaven flashed around him, and he heard a voice that said, Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? Saul cried out, Who are you, Lord? And the voice said, I am Jesus. Rise and go into the city, and you will be told what to do. So Saul got up, and he opened his eyes, but he couldn't see anything. So the men who were with Saul led him into the city. After three days, a man named Ananias came to Saul. He put his hands on Saul and immediately Saul could see again. And with that, Saul became a follower of Jesus. He became the very thing he had tried to hunt. And he immediately began telling people that Jesus is the Son of God. And he taught them about the mercy of God that he had received. And all who heard him were amazed. He then went by a new name, Paul. As he began preaching not just to the Jewish people, but to everyone. Despite many difficulties like being imprisoned, shipwrecked, and narrowly escaping death multiple times, Paul continued to preach about Jesus. Paul said that he would do everything he could to save people and help them know God. And that's just what he did in order to reach people who would otherwise be unreached. And many came to know Jesus because of what Paul said. Paul taught many in his day through his letters, but even more have come to learn more about Jesus through the letters of Paul that can be read even to this day. Okay, so that's our story for today. The man who saw the light, the great light, like in this picture. So let me ask you some questions. Do you remember what his name was, the name of this man who saw the light? It was in the video, and I said it at the very beginning. Well, maybe you said two different names. At first, his name was Saul. Did you get that? Saul was his name in the beginning. But afterwards, after he had come to see the light, know about Jesus, he got a new name. Do you know what his, remember what his new name was? His new name was Paul. That's right. So his name was Saul, but it later became Paul, which kind of meant that he had been given a new life, um, a new life because he now knew Jesus. And when did that happen? It happened, remember, when he was walking along the road to Damascus. Do you remember why he was going to a city called Damascus? Do you remember what Saul was doing for a living? Yeah. He was capturing Christians and taking them to jail. People like you and me who believe in Jesus, he was taking them to jail. What a bad guy, right? Absolutely not good. He didn't like Jesus at that time. But then on that road that day, this great light was shining upon him. And there he is, this picture of Saul who was, had this great light shine on him. And it was Jesus talking to him. And Jesus said, Saul, I'm going to forgive you, and I'm going to make you my child, and I want you to go and tell people about me now. And that's when Saul began his new life as Paul. Remember, he was blinded for a little while because of that light. He couldn't see. But then when the blindness went away, 
he started preaching and teaching people about Jesus. And, and like I said, we can even read some of the things that he's written in the Bible, letters from Paul. So Paul, or Saul, saw the light. Very, actually, he saw the light and was blinded, but also sometimes we say a person has seen the light, that means he's learned something new. And what new thing did Saul learn? He learned that God loves him, that Jesus is real, Jesus is alive, and that Jesus has forgiven him of his sins. And so he learned all about Jesus and went about teaching everyone about Jesus. Pretty cool. So today's story is about Saul, who became Paul when he saw the great light and learned about Jesus. And that shows us God's grace. And so we're going to sing this song, Amazing Grace. amazing and it's such a sweet sound all right well I'll tell you what before we close let's say a, a quick prayer <clears throat> dear Jesus thank you for showing yourself to Saul and for helping him to see the light helping him to see that you are alive that you rose from the dead and that more importantly that you paid for his sins and <clears throat> that you forgive his sins so thank you for changing him to this new life, a life where he was called Paul, and a life where he was teaching people about Jesus. And we pray that you would always help us to know Jesus and remember that, that, uh, that you still love us and have forgiven us of all of our sins. Be with us, keep us safe and healthy. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. All right, well, boys and girls, that's it. Thanks again for joining me for Praise and Worship. I hope you're having a great summer. You guys take care, and I'll see you next time. Bye.